Okay, so this is my first time ever playing against a deck I never in my life thought I would see. This should be exciting because you, as somebody who manages a website entirely based on researching every single card. Yep, I, uh, I, I read these cards and I was like, these are incredibly underwhelming. I don't think anyone will ever unironically play this deck. I got into Plat and... It was the very first deck I saw in Platt, and I was like, no way, someone's actually playing The Weather. Oh, can I remember <laughs> this one? <laughs> so, All right, so uh, these... do you want to walk us through the gist of what is a weather deck drawing yeah, to do? So um, this is as close to the anime as I'll ever... Oh, I'm still set to you, one sec. Uh... There. This is as close to being in the anime as I'm ever going to get because I don't know what any of my opponent's cards do and I have to read them and adapt my strategy in real time as if I was playing on TV. So, this is the Weatherfinder Stone. When it was normal summon, it placed a card in their back row. Okay, fair enough. And it's once per turn, but it's normal summon, so okay. Uh, and then during the standby phase, after this card's banished by a weather card, it special summons itself. So, alright. If th This thing's kind of wind-up rapidy. Got it. And this thing says, the weather affect monsters in your monster zones in this card's column and adjacent columns. So these three here uh, all gain this effect, and uh, so did the other one. This one worked on these three. So their back row cards give effects to the dudes up front, and their dudes up front uh, are wind-up rabbits that come back. So the trap says, if your opponent controls a monster, banish the, one of the three guys up here. Uh, to special summon a guy with a different name, which is not threatening in and of itself, but when this thing's wind-up rabbit, banishing it to get a guy, and then the one comes back, now you've got the ability to use both your cards. And this one says you can banish your dude up front to add a weather card from your deck to your hand. So they've got the monster summoner and the searcher. They've, just, they've got dragonfly and they've got centipede, and from what I can tell, this card is their insector hornet. So, um... Like, just like the face card of the deck. This is Wind-Up Rabbit. This is Insector Centipede. This is Insector Dragonfly. Great. Off to an extraordinarily powerful start for them. So banish it to search for a follow-up play for next turn. And set a card. And, oh dear. <laughs> what am I going to do? Because, sure enough, comes right back. And I'm like, okay, but worst case scenario, they can just banish it to get a guy from the deck. But I don't know what any of the guys do, so I've got to be really careful here. Uh, so I've got bad skill drain and good skill drain. Let's set bad skill drain here. So if they do want to imperm it, they have to take away a pendulum scale from themselves. I don't think Just in they... case a uh, weather painter decides to pendulum something yeah. in the middle of the I game. Mean, I, I don't think that they will, but it's better than this zone. Like, you may as well have that micro min-max advantage. And I put this one across from this card because I'm never taking this card off the field and they'll never be able to imperm my good one. I'm going to go after this one way before I go after this card. So... Uh, set Solemn here and activate that card just so that I can card itemize for two. And I get a pair of monsters, so let's use the extra normal summon on Ignis Heat. And that's going to be my first MST, and we'll take care of that card. Even though I should have gone after the trap, I probably misclicked. I honestly should go after the trap first and never go after the search your deck one, but uh, sure enough, they're going to chain that and give me another spell, which I mean. Thank you. I, I need spells to pop your annoying weathery back row things. So let's get the other one. And then that's going to summon this card. And what the heck is this guy? When this card's normal summoned. Next. Uh, once per turn during the standby phase, if this card is banished, it comes back too. Like, oh god, this thing's a 2200 um, wind-up rabbit. And also, your opponent cannot target the weather spell traps you control with card effects. And they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And just like five different kinds of, uh-oh. <laughs> like, my whole deck is based on trying to do that. So let's get that in the graveyard so it can yeah, come back. Let's deal with that problem as quickly as possible. Now, the card of the mind is very handy. Yeah. This thing's going to come back, which is going to give me another spell. And then I'm going to activate my skill drain. Uh... So, these things say that the monsters gain those effects. Unfortunately, they're banishing for cost. So, not crazy helpful, but at least when this thing's normal summoned, I can blank it 
and I can search for Dynamite Knight or another Ignis Heat because I need spell cards for MSTs and the monsters are not tremendously threatening. So I think I go for Ignis Heat here. No, I did go for Dynamite. Not thinking. Not using my head. Probably because I'm tilted like crazy by what the heck do these weather things do. Uh, you run into some of the weirdest decks. <laughs> right. Weather. Like, I don't... I, I very, like, seldom... I pretty much play meta non-stop whenever I'm on there. Like, the weirdest <laughs> thing I find is when somebody just, like, Numeron dragons me out of nowhere. Like, for you, you get, like, weather painters or something that you just would never... Like, you just never see it. You're like, oh, and I have to read every single one of your cards. I have no idea what the interrupt points are for any of your combos because I never thought I'd ever see these combos in action. Yeah. So, this card here... I felt a lot better when this card hit the board, and I was like, okay, my opponent doesn't know how my deck works just as little as I don't know how his deck works. Thank God. So, uh, this one, the it's the same crap, just the three zones in front gain power. Uh, at the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can banish this card, all their wind-up rabbit crap, uh, to bounce the opponent's monster, which means I'm just going to get to tribute my spells to put my guys back down. Yep. And, and they're got, extra uh, normal summons. So, like, I'll be able to, like, regular normal summon, he'll bounce. I'll extra normal summon, he'll bounce. And I'll extra normal summon, and he'll bounce. Like, cool. Like, that's just, like, a bunch of free pops. And sure enough, like, he just does me the favor of putting them in my hand. And I'm like, all right, man, cool. I think I'm going to let this one stay. Uh, draw a solemn judgment. And of course, his annoying crap comes back. I actually see Tinker in the chat is a weather painter duelist. Fair enough. Uh, if another weather card you control is sent to the graveyard, if a weather card you control is sent to the graveyard, okay, target up to two of the weather speller traps in your graveyard and put them back. So they'll be <laughs> actually able to get back like their super cat. I'm like, okay, this thing also grinds. Like, I hate everything about what I'm seeing. None of it is scary. My life is at 8,000. I'm on nine cards. None of this is at all, like, threatening. It's, just, it's making you play a long game that you didn't want to yeah, play. Yeah, I, I play this deck happened. to turbo. Like, I want to be done by now. And, like, I, I have to think and read all these cards, and it's annoying. And it, it, it's like, I, I feel like I'm paralyzed in Pokemon. Where I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it, it literally is the weather, right? It's like, it's, it's raining, and I just kind of have to let that happen. <laughs> it's like... Because it's just so much of it's just happening. Yeah. At, at this That's point, fine. I'm convinced all the monsters are wind-up rabbit as well, and that all the traps, are, all the spells and traps are just give effect to the guy in the front row. And I'm like, okay, so the edges are particularly weak because they can only give it to two guys. And Anyway. Yeah, let's, uh, let's continue. <laughs> Extra normal summon. Pop the one that's giving him monsters. Make him chain something. Metaltron. Oh, I see you decided to go with the uh, Omni protection. Yeah. So this one says you can send a face of continuous speller trap you control to the graveyard to place a weather speller trap from your deck into the back row. And then also like Vince's self act. Now I do have Monarchs erupt up, so that's not going to be a thing anyway, but let's get rid of the trap. He chained the trap. <laughs> and then summon the big guy. And that spell, I was going to pop this, because this card's been here since turn one and I don't care, and this thing is actually my friend. So I'll pop the other one, and it turns out the other one was just a copy of that anyway. But down comes the Solemn. And yeah, he tried to bounce me with the trap, and it just it doesn't work, because Metaltron is unaffected by traps. Yeah, Metaltron's just being brutal. And... There's an out to metal drawn. Oh, this guy. So I looked at oh, this as this, this is going to take me forever because I'm going to have to keep killing things and like one at a time finally break through and it's going to take me like nine years to finally kill this deck. And he does me the favor of clearing four of them at once at the cost of my metal tron. So I get why he did it. But uh, this thing uses one of your opponent's monsters as a link material, and then negates the effect of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls. Not that he could, because I both have a skill drain and no monsters. Uh, it's unaffected by your opponent's card effects unless they target this card. Again, the skill drain was there first. And once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that special summons a monster from the graveyard, just negate it. 
So this thing's not the worst Yu-Gi-Oh card, but... No, I like it. I mean, the problem that you have with it is whenever I want to use materials, it's usually be... they've set themselves up with something that I... I can interact with, that's why I'm super poly with them in their turn. Uh, but like, when I, if I need to put four monsters down before I can take advantage of a bit of a tall order to... Yeah, it's not super terrible with IP Mascarina, because it can be yeah. made with four monsters, not five, so IP can be two of your arrows, and then your opponent's monster is one of them, and it's on the opponent's turn with IP Mascarina. Yeah, it's like, I, I think it's a good card. It's a trick. It's tricky to use. It's not as easy to snap pick this card up. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I just soul and judgment it because I just don't want to deal with a 3,000 attack monster with a Draco deck. Uh, yeah. But he finally <laughs> actually like did something impactful to me. He's on only two unknowns now. This thing is still hilarious. And this thing is still harmless, whatever it is. So yeah, And you're but, never running out of cards because you just keep putting everything you need. To yeah, I, I even put out. back the Metal Drone. And then I get Emptiness, which means they can't come back. <laughs> like Emptiness is literally just... That's it, this deck no longer can play the game. If I had seen Emptiness on turn one, this game would have ended on turn two. But he's got the Droplet, so obviously I'm going to Sullen Judgment that, because i got to keep my attack points up, and then he'll lose his monster. Yep, just sweep my... Yeah, at, at this point, like he's down to his harmless card. And yeah, you just got Podduality. You've got the Vanities. When he does try and make a play, you can just go ahead and search for more stuff, and you've got Pod. 33 cards yeah. left in deck. I'm not worried about playing a Desires here. Yeah, seems pretty good. Poke. Poke. Yeah, the game's pretty much uh, in control. But I don't know enough about Weather Painters to point out the misplays. I do see that uh, Tinker is meant about the placements being very specific on how you're supposed to play Weber Painter. Um, they're mentioning that this the, the opponent you're playing against was putting him in the wrong places, but I can just see, like, even with that said, how annoying this deck is. Oh, was yeah, then he that super is... polyed me. The, the <laughs> harmless card that had been there all game was super poly. That's pretty good. So he bought himself another turn. Like, okay, fine, go ahead. <laughs> I couldn't just even have hold it on. I could have flipped up the emptiness preemptively and like tried to play around the Super Poly. Oh, nah. <laughs> I love Tinker's comment in the chat right there. It's just like, oh, put it flips up Super Poly. He's like, now I have no idea what Earth. Like, it's not even that he was playing Super Poly. It's like, why is it there and not there? <laughs> oh, there's ours too. You can uh, yeah. every monster yeah. in the deck. So I, all I had to do was swing, but it would put him on 100 and he had a trap. And I thought to myself, like, what's the worst this trap could be? Call the Hana to block one of my hits, and then he's still left on 100? I don't care. I'll normal summon the guy. And uh, it'd be, I pick Ignis Heat so that in case it was Torrential Tribute, I'd get an extra normal summon for Dino Might and kill him. And he actually was playing Torrential Tribute. <laughs> So you actually read that, you go, yeah, okay. I read it as like a gimmick. It's the same like how I, I put my thing here just in case they played like a pendulum monster in the weather deck. I literally played around TT as like a self joke. Like, you know, like in the like one in a thousand chance that it's TT and then wouldn't you know it. I love Torrential Tribute. Torrential Tribute a time... in a pot of green, cool. <laughs> like... There was a time early on in Yu Gi Oh where you could play free copies of Torrential Tribute and just no one did. Well, I, like. It was just before we had the internet and people knew any better. We were all quite young and it's just like, yeah, you can play free self-strike, free Torrential Tributes in your decks, and most people just didn't. 